Firstly, I want to say I know I'm kind of late to this, but I wanted to wait at least a few days until I could release this review. Simply because I wanted to gather some of my ideas, start talking to some of my friends, um, and just overall still processing the movie as a whole. I mean, it was the movie itself was so great that not just for me, but for so many people that people have seen it 10, I mean, I don't want to exaggerate, but 10 or even more times just because of how great it is. And to even add on to the point, people have actually gone and like, I'm talking about movie theaters have extended its showings and having it more. Like you'd think that uh, like this would be something that would just kind of be like a weekend thing, but no, it hasn't. And uh, that's one of the great things about this franchise, about Dragon Ball as a whole. I think that it has definitely gone and, you know, transcended to like a even higher thing than we can ever imagine. I'm not saying it's the greatest series, you know, because it's got its flaws like everything else. But this, this movie tackles one of the things that uh, a lot of people were wondering questions like you know what how would Toriyama write it and I gotta say he did a great job you know who was Goku's mother there we go we finally got who she is Jine you know a lot of the little unanswered questions and then some unexpected cameos and just overall just a great great movie uh, and the movie starts off with what was the I guess the Toriyama adaptation to Dragon Ball Minus. Uh, if you guys haven't read that manga, I sincerely recommend you guys read it. Uh, and at the same time, kind of like redoing the Bardock special, which I still enjoy. Uh, when it came out, uh, I think what was it, November when it came out, uh, along with the Janemba movie, I thought, you know, this was a that was a great special it was very underrated and i, I really enjoyed it uh, and having this rewritten version of you know the bardock story kind of incorporated into the broly special which you know obviously it's broly's movie but to have these other elements playing along you know king vegeta uh, we saw that he felt jealous of broly's potential of being much stronger than his own son we see King Cold, uh, how he was ruling and kind of gave the mantle to Frieza. Even at a young age, Frieza was showing, you know, this ruthlessness that has carried on for throughout his whole life. And I did enjoy another thing. This is one of the things that I think people have been praising a lot, but I want to give my praise to as well, is the dubbing. The dubbing of the movie was great. Normally... Well, growing up, I'd watch Dragon Ball uh, uh, dubbed, of course, you know, because this was on Toonami, and that's pretty much what I was accustomed to. And when Dragon Ball Super came, it was really a shock to hear a lot of these voices. Of course, I've heard them before, but to sit down and actually having to kind of go through episode through episode, and I've gotten used to it, but going back to the dub, I thought everyone here did a fantastic job. Um, and hats off to all of you. you guys did great the yelling must have been intense the emotions that you had to go through i mean you guys were great every one of you guys uh but going back to the whole origin story uh, it was really cool to see how you know broly get, was given this kind of like personality uh, even at a young age we're seeing that he uh, had to fend for himself you know being sent to this basically you know death planet where you would never have survived uh, but broly survives and we see paragus having gone through that with him um, not of course we didn't get to see a, a lot of what was going on behind the scenes because one of the things that i question is how was paragus able to uh, you know make this collar to control broly you know what was what was a big question for me um I was not very sure as to how that was. Um, when he killed Beats, I was pretty sure they may have eaten him. Uh, and 
of course that was never going to be addressed that's just honestly my theory when it came to that when it came to they were low on supplies they probably ate him first and then whatever was on the planet after they ran out of food uh, so that's just one of the things that was going on then and i could talk for long hours about you know the origin port part which was honestly my favorite uh, but going you now back to the present now after the tournament of power we have goku and vegeta training you know kind of kind of like how it ended with the last episode um it was cool to see vegeta wearing his like his majin buu outfit you know that arc it was really cool to see him you know dressed in that way uh and the the wish was well, there was a wish, and if you guys watched my spoiler video, you guys will know that uh, the whole reason why Frieza was on his way to Earth uh, was to get the Dragon Balls in order to grow five centimeters. I thought that was hilarious, uh, and we had the we had Bulma also wanting the Dragon Balls to re, you know return her look for fi from five years ago. Like it was one of those things where it's just like a really a uh, kind of a waste of time but of course that was just for, i think uh, for comical reasons uh and it was just interesting but once frieza comes in contact with broly like the objective is still the same however it's kind of like an added bonus that he could have seen he could see a san killing other sans of course he still hates goku and vegeta mostly because you know of everything he had to go through with them but it was nice to see Frieza, you know, kind of going through these roles where it's like, I won't fight, I won't fight, okay, fuck, I'm stuck in a fight, I have to fight. So even though he didn't want to be in the position where he was in, it was cool to see, you know, Frieza and the involvement that he had throughout the whole movie in some way, shape, or form. I, I <coughs> excuse me, I hated that Paragus had, well, he, I didn't hate it, I hated the way they gave Paragus off because it would have been nice if Paragus would have like had a change of heart but at this point in the way especially in the movie he was there was no real way of saving him or having him a change of heart uh, it would have been nice to have an older San be part of the, the crew or something of that sort but I guess that you know for for the story reasons he had to die and I mean it is karma after he killed Beats the way he did so uh, but uh, what was interesting was how Broly reminded me of Oob in a sense, too. Uh, if you guys remember, Oob uh, didn't know how to fight, but he learned as he went. And that was one of the cool things about Oob. And I think that concept was brought back for Broly. He wasn't, you know, he was trained with, by his father, but he didn't exactly have, you know, the, you know, the best sparring partner due to... You know, differences in abilities and all that good stuff but fighting up against vegeta and goku he was learning and he beat the smack out of goku and of course we had gogeta return uh this time being part of this fight and seeing him go blue that was really cool uh, so the fight itself i want to say was really uh, spectacular i mean broly and gogeta were that powerful that not even anything that Gogeta was throwing was it was really phasing him. I mean, we saw we even saw them going through dimensions of how, which honestly was uh, something that I wasn't like a big fan of, uh, and it felt kind of rushed. Uh, but it happened, and therefore it was. Uh, I think it was done rather well. Uh, other than that, uh, so the fight was interesting. And then of course I haven't even mentioned Chile and Lemo. These two are like Bulk and Skull to me, except Broly could probably, you know, well, not probably, most likely will get with Chile. Uh, obviously, it might happen off screen, but it, it's one of the things that it's it's interesting to see these two characters. It can, in a way, it kind of reminds me of Jacko, or Jocko, excuse me, uh, when he was first introduced. Like, he seemed useless, and in a way, he is, but he has his purpose, especially now with the... Uh, we're currently where the manga is at, which I think is very interesting. But the inclusion of these characters and then, you know, basically saving Broly at the end, I thought that was cool. Uh, it was unexpected. And of course, people have been speculating that Broly will return. And, you know, he should, rightfully so. But when, 
it's really a matter of time. Just like they've announced that Dragon Ball is coming back with more episodes, despite Toei denying it. So, it's only a matter of time. But I don't want to go into everything because honestly it was it was a great movie and you have to go watch it for yourself and if you watch it already watch it again just don't do piracy guys that that's that's so messed up but i'll probably have more videos on broly you know coming up on the channel let me know what you guys want to see what you guys want to discuss or have me discuss and as always stay safe and i'll catch you later that's, that's DJ,